So we've just put the liquids in and mixed with the yeast, thrown the flour on top. Um, so we just incorporated, we turn it up to three o'clock position. We'll set the timer for six minutes and see what happens. We're coming up to the end of six minutes. You can see that we've got some stretchiness going on, a bit of gluten development is where it's sticking to the thing. But this is not a dry, smooth ball by any stretch of the imagination. We'll just let it finish. There we go. You see the surface is not smooth. Let's have a look at the extensibility. Okay, it's pretty stretchy, but let's have a look. See, it's still a bit lumpy. And it's certainly not at that point of window painting. So, to my mind, that needs more mixing. Let's give it another four minutes and see what happens. So we're coming up to the end of our second mix, which is four minutes for a total of 10 minutes. Now, there is some difference here. By and large, it's a single ball. And uh, I don't know if you noticed at the end there, but generally it's not sticking to the bottom of the bowl anymore. So it's certainly not hyper extensible and it's definitely not at a point of window painting. It is very, in fact, this is very tight. Like the gluten's developed and then it's fighting me. But it's still not what I would call a nice smooth ball. Now I know that if I mix this by hand, um, after about six minutes, it would come together and stop being shaggy. And I know that around nine or 10 minutes, I'd have a very nice smooth uh, ball that I could get great tension in the skin and put it back in the bowl to proof. So after 10 minutes in the mixer, I'm still at not that, still not at that point. So a little bit confused. Let's mix for another two minutes and see what happens. We'll come back. It's beginning to look a bit more as I would expect. Let's see, again, it's feeling quite tight, um, but definitely more as I would expect for a 65% hydration dough. We're getting to window pane ability a bit better. And if you can see without shadows on that, still a bit lumpy, but we are getting those smoother sections. So I still feel it's under needed. So I'm gonna give it another four minutes. I will check after two, but probably won't video. Um, and um, that'll take us to 18 minutes in total. Let's see, back in a bit. Okay, so we're coming up on 18 minutes. It's about to stop. Uh, let's see how we get on. Again, we're still not seeing that smooth surface yet uh, that I've seen on some other uh, ANK videos. Let's see how it feels. You could see it pulling off there, so there's obviously a bit of strength. Um, it's quite tight but I think that we'll find, yeah, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty elastic now after 18 minutes. I'm gonna um, just see if I can use two hands to do a window pane and show you that. So we definitely got something going on there, but this is, this is not what I expect of a dough that's been, I mean, it's just gone through so many weird, phases and it's very odd. I honestly feel that if I added 
half a tablespoon of flour it will come together in a very nice very smooth ball um, out of interest I'm just gonna try and hand knead it uh, for uh, you know, literally 20 seconds and see what that looks like I'll be right back okay so I did literally 10 seconds of hand kneading and honestly it did come together into this nice sexy uh, supple marshmallowy um, dough so I'm kind of happy with this I, th I think what I need to do is repeat the experiment but um, perhaps try just bringing it together by hand uh, earlier in the process maybe we try that after six or eight minutes um, but I think this will this will produce my regular white bread loaves but you know that was 18 minutes it should shouldn't take that long let's uh, let's see what happens by the way I'll just try and pull it up for demonstrate the tightness of the dough um, but it is a little bit lumpy which if I was hand kneading I would think that was under kneaded um, and I'm not sure I really want to go longer than 18 minutes and over process it because when I do pull it out it is kind of nice smooth dough oh well let's try again and see what happens but you know for 65% I'd expect that to be incredibly smooth and, and, and rubbery now so a bit stickier than I would have imagined 